Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Man is certain his wife died three years ago. Accidentally meets her on vacation. Story of the day. A man is stunned when, three years after his wife's death, he and his little daughter recognize her while away on vacation. Sam Jordan was reeling from the loss of his lovely wife, Jenny, in a horrific car accident. Jenny had passed away three years before, leaving Sam to raise their little two-year-old daughter, Mia, alone. Life had become a nightmare for Sam. Dealing with his own grief and Mia's, it took him over three years before he finally felt that he and Mia had achieved what could be loosely termed as a normal life. And that was when he decided to take Mia on vacation. Sam decided that a two-week getaway to sunny California would be a welcome break from their Colorado hometown. He found a nice B&B &B in Venice Beach, close to the ocean, and a lively, colorful place Mia might enjoy. Father and daughter quickly adapted to the leisurely rhythm of vacation land and settled into a daily routine of going to the beach in the morning, having lunch, then sightseeing in the afternoon. Then, one afternoon, something extraordinary happened. Sam and Mia had stopped for ice cream when the now five-year-old cried, Daddy, it's Mommy! And in seconds, Mia was gone, weaving through the crowd in the boardwalk. Sam dropped the ice cream and started running after Mia and caught up with her a hundred yards away. Mia, he gasped, you know you can't run away from Daddy. But Daddy, it's Mommy, Mia panted breathlessly. She's right there. And Mia pointed at a couple, standing a little further along looking at some handicrafts. Sam dropped to his feet and took Mia's little hands in his. Honey, you know Mommy's gone to heaven. But Mia shook her head stubbornly. No, Daddy, I recognize Mommy from the picture on the wall. That's Mommy. Sam was about to explain once again that Jenny was gone when the woman Mia had pointed at turned around. Sam felt as if all the air in his body had been punched out of his body. It was Jenny, or someone who was her twin. Sam was on his feet and moving toward the woman, taking Mia by the hand. When they were just a few feet away, Mia broke free and threw her arms around the woman's waist. Mommy, she cried. Oh, Mommy, I knew it was you. The woman looked down at Mia and frowned. Then she looked up at Sam, and a bewildered expression flitted across her lovely face. Sam was about to apologize when the man standing next to her turned around. It was Clive, his best friend Clive, whom he hadn't seen since Jenny's funeral. Clive, he cried. Man, you wouldn't believe. But something was very wrong because Clive looked terrified and grabbed the arm of the woman who looked like Jenny. We gotta go, he screamed. The woman who looked like Jenny looked surprised. Sam, what's the matter? She asked Clive. Sam? She thought Clive was Sam. Sam stepped forward and laid a heavy hand on Clive's shoulder. What's going on here, Clive? Who is this lady? He asked. The woman who looked like Jenny smiled. I'm Sam's wife, she said. I'm Jenny. Mia, who still had her arms around the woman's waist, cried triumphantly. You see, Daddy, it is Mommy. Mommy, the woman said, touching Mia's face gently. I wish I were. I always wanted a little girl. I wanted to call her Mia. I am Mia, the child said, and you're my mommy, and that's my daddy. Clive was pale as death and tried to squirm out of Sam's iron grasp. It's not what you think, he cried. I didn't plan it. It just happened. What happened, Sam asked. After the accident, you know, the, the car was so burned and with the funeral, Clive said, then one night I was watching a late night missing person show and they showed the photo of a woman who'd been found. It was Jenny. She'd had some kind of brain injury. She didn't remember who she was, but doctors thought from the injuries and burns she'd been in a bad crash. Then I remembered how Jenny was always picking up those young girls who hitchhiked. I guess that's who died in the car, and Jenny was thrown clear. Why didn't you come to me? cried Sam angrily. Me and I were mourning her. We were in such pain. Clive couldn't look Sam in the eyes. I love Jenny. You knew it. You knew it when we started dating her. You took her from me, so I took her back. Jenny was listening to this in horrified silence. You, you told me you were my husband, she gasped. You said my dreams about a baby girl were fantasy. You lied to me. Clive was cringing from anger, and Sam calmly dialed 911 and called the police. Later, he sat with Jenny and Mia and started sorting through the mess one man's obsession had made of their lives. Sam explained to Mia that Mommy would probably take a long time to remember everything and urged Jenny to be patient, too. Jenny just smiled. 
these three years, I always felt that something was wrong. Sam, I, I mean, Clive told me I loved him, that he was my husband, but something wasn't right. She reached for Sam and Mia's hands. Now it feels as if the world's finally coming right again. And bit by bit, it did. Share this with your friends and family.